is it going guys? Uh, we are back for what is likely to be quite a short episode because it's probably quite a boring episode. So um, Rob has just taken off the spark plug cover and what we are doing today is to adjust our valve clearances because it's a bit tappy so we've gone and got some new feeler gauges, the two that we need there and we are going to have a go at doing that so uh, yeah we're just going to get the rocker cover off now got all the coil we'll packs and spark plugs and all that yeah. sort of stuff out and then we will jack up the cart we're going to use a wheel to rotate it and we'll catch you in a bit right so we've got everything off and what we need to do now is rotate the engine so that cylinder one is at top dead center so all we're going to do is jack the car up so that the wheel isn't touching the floor and then um, essentially rotate the engine using the, the wheel. So uh, we're just going to take the plugs out so it's slightly easier to uh, rotate the engine and pop this to TDC and then smash on with it from there. So we specifically went out and bought these. So these are feeler gauges for anyone who doesn't know and uh, they what you use to set the tolerances on the uh, on the valve clearances so for a K20A2 the tolerances are 0.21 millimeters or 0.25 millimeters for the exhaust side um, so the intake and exhaust measurements are different so bear that in mind and we are using this guide that was from Temple of VTech or something like that online, which is really comprehensive. And um, yeah, it's always good to have a guide, but those are the numbers if you're just watching this video and doing it. And uh, this is Dan's crack. I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more of that. But yeah, we're getting the plugs out and then We'll uh, carry on from there. These are the bits that we're going to be using to do the job. So we've got the two um, correct size feeler gauges and then one up on each one. So um, as you can see on this document, there are tolerances and specs. So what we're going to do is we're going to try the smaller or try the bigger one and then if it's out of spec, then sort of put it back down to the, the correct one using the, the correct feeler gauge. So um, yeah, there's not much to it. Screwdriver, 10 mil um, spanner, and then go from there. So I'd say easier with two people. Definitely easier with two people. So um, I'm gonna be doing the spanner and tightening, maybe. And Dan's gonna be doing the the dragon of the feeler gauges so I'll set you up just so you can see what it looks like and yeah let's crack on so uh, just as a demo we've got the 0.12 which you won't be able to see but that is uh, the the larger spec on the exhaust is 0.11 so if you can fit this one in there it's out of spec even if it drags um, because it's bigger than the biggest setting so if I'll put that in there and it slips straight in then you know that is out of spec so that actually feels about right but obviously the feeler gauge is too big so we need to tighten those down and we're going to do that now so that probably explains why our um, car is so tappity just because these look like they're all out of spec well so far the four that we've checked on cylinder one are all out of spec so um, yeah we're gonna give that a go obviously I'm not gonna film every single one because it's doing exactly the same but Dan's just demonstrating what you need to do so get the 10 mil onto the lock nut oh, fucking tight they're only supposed to be 14 foot pounds go the heat don't they Loosen that off, and then you use a screwdriver 
in and out. To adjust. Okay. To adjust well, yeah, that, that. that makes a massive difference, so we won't carry on doing that. <laughs> yeah, even when, I'm, I'm not going to tie it off. So yeah, easy as that. So I guess I'll try and put you here somewhere. Right, so we uh, we think we're done. Obviously, we didn't really record much because it's pretty boring to watch. Um, we've done so the firing order was one, three, four, two. Um, so we've rotated the wheel 90 degrees every time, and we think they're ready. So we're just putting the rocket cover back on now. We're going to plug oh, the spark plugs are back in. We're going to put the coil packs back on, and we'll give it a go. What do you reckon? I don't know, I've never done it before. And see if it's uh, fixed our tapping problem. Just remember, we have no idea what we're doing. Oh yeah, just a disclaimer. Well, I've done it before. I've done it on a lot of times on pit bikes, but um, I've never done it on a 16 valve engine before, so it took us a while. We probably fucked it up. I'm sure we'll find out if we have. I think the biggest problem that we had was trying to find TDC on cylinder 2. Um, none of the marks actually line up. Um, the rest of them you can all line the marks up with something, but with cylinder 2 they don't. So that one we're more worried about than the others. So. Well, wish us luck. But it sounds like it's running all right, so ish. Yeah, there's a noise, and we're not really sure what it is. But we're just going to take it for a drive and see what it's like. What do you think? Feels good? Feels fine, yeah. So, you clear. Yeah, you clear. 